Nice to have you on our show. Thank Sam you for Sam. having me. Maybe you can present yourself quickly because okay. maybe they, there is some uh, Bitcoiner in France that still don't know you. Yeah. So quickly, okay. uh, some word about you and what you have done for, for Bitcoin. Okay. Je m'appelle Samson. Oh. I'm the CEO of Gen3. <laughs> yeah. We are a Bitcoin technology company. We developed the Aqua Wallet and we also focus on nation state Bitcoin adoption. Okay. And well, what Aqua Wallet is exactly? Aqua is a Bitcoin and Layer 2 wallet. So it's the first uh, Bitcoin wallet that has native support for stable coins. So if you open up the wallet, we can show you here. You can see you have Bitcoin, Layer 2 Bitcoin, and Tether. Okay. So our focus is reaching the global south. We want people in Latin America that are already using stable coins to start using a Bitcoin wallet and hopefully get into Bitcoin because we show Bitcoin as your savings account at the top and we show you the Bitcoin price. So it's all positive reinforcement to move to Bitcoin because for them, they're already using Tether just on altcoin chains. But this is liquid Tether, which is on a Bitcoin side chain. So there's no altcoins involved. Okay, nice. So I've got um, a subject for you that sure. you like on, uh, on Bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> so right now we've seen the, the ETF comes on. The... Um, the F -F -R -F -A -S -B, mm -hmm. with the fair accounting value coming on. Yeah. There is the FTX that just blow up. So no more fake Bitcoin or even less yeah. <laughs> with the paper Bitcoin. What will be the next major uh, bullish stuff that will uh, happen? And uh, is it all the, those things, the stars that, the, the stars that align for Bitcoin at 1 million for this cycle or not? <laughs> Well, I think the ETFs is the mega bullish event yeah. that will bring us to the Omega candles. So if you look at it, an ETF is just a path for legacy financial money to come to Bitcoin. Because at the end, there's the ETFs themselves have to have Bitcoin. So it's just an on-ramp for the entire world to buy Bitcoin in a simple manner, which is through their stock brokerage. So this... I don't think there's anything more bullish than this other than nation states adopting it at a significant level and buying hundreds of billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. But the ETFs is the catalyst, I believe, for the, this bull run that's going to bring in hundreds, trillions of dollars to Bitcoin. Hmm. And do you think a uh, state will use ETF too to buy Some Bitcoin? Some of them or? will. Okay. So we already have central banks that buy stocks. If you look at the Swiss central bank, they bought a lot of stocks because they were actually trying to devalue their currency. But all the stocks they bought went to the moon. Now their currency is even stronger. But again, they're buying stocks. And ETF is a simple way for our country now to access Bitcoin. So I believe this is the catalyst. The ETFs are the catalyst. Okay. And um, I've seen this post the other day. I think you react to it. Someone uh, showed um, how Michael Seller today is kind of doing an attack on dollars. <laughs> like by uh, selling everything against Bitcoin and mostly US dollar, he's actually uh, trying to to short the dollars. And because it's getting huge, huger and bigger and bigger with his company and everything, and maybe some other company will uh, just uh, uh, mimic what he's doing because it's going well. The, the company is skyrocketing and, and everything. Mm -hmm. So do, do you think there is an attack on the dollar? going on right now the dollar doesn't need to be attacked it's doing that to yeah, itself you're, you're naturally right. but i believe many companies will follow microstrategy and copy their playbook because now their playbook is coming to fruition and you're seeing the results so while they were stacking gradually for the past few years you know they're not really making any significant fiat gains but now the fiat gains are very apparent and that's when people will follow because most people don't take the initiative there are mostly followers, companies, countries, you name it. But they're going to follow because now they can see the result of what he did. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, country adoption, which country for you is the most uh, advanced in Bitcoin adoption, except uh, El Salvador, maybe? Hard to say. Yeah. We have been engaging with a lot of countries and we have a lot of interest, but they've yet to make a big concrete step. Yeah. And it just has to do with the nature of the beast. There are big lumbering creatures that take a lot of time to do something, just like a company. Hmm. So I believe it'll take time, but 
it's going to happen very soon and probably this year that they make that move into Bitcoin because they're going to see, well, Bitcoin is, all, Bitcoin is a, a trillion dollar asset class and it's going to multi-trillion dollars and they have no choice but to get into Bitcoin now. Hmm. And um, how long do you, do you think it will take to like just not maybe replace gold, but for the gold to, no, for the Bitcoin to be as uh, large as gold? The gold ETF is already yeah. about to be overtaken by Bitcoin ETFs. And the interesting thing about gold is that we're not hitting a static target. It's not even a moving target. Gold has been flat about 2000 for years and years and years. But as we get more valuable with Bitcoin, gold will become demonetized. So it's actually going to come down and that makes it easier for us to overtake gold. Hmm. So it's the same thing everywhere. Bitcoin is demonetizing everything. It's going to demonetize gold, demonetize real estate, demonetize bonds and treasuries and all that stuff because nobody will want it anymore. They all, all want Bitcoin. Hmm. And uh, have you followed also these things called the, the multiplier effect yeah. or Bitcoin? What do you think about it? Like everything seems too big, too huge, like the, the 200 multiplier effect, the 100. Really. We're already what do seeing, you think about it? You, you can do the math. It's already a 200 x multiplier okay. so originally the bank of america published a, a research report saying there's 118 times multiplier so one dollar invested in bitcoin increases market cap by 118 times 118 dollars so we're seeing the etfs inflows multiply by 200 times now and that is not in count not accounting for other inflows like just people buying and michael saylor buying or tether buying so I think the multiplier is actually far higher. The thing about the multiplier, if you understand, is that you can only calculate it after the fact. So what it indicates is that as more people want Bitcoin, more people want Bitcoin. So as the price goes up, the multiplier actually increases. So you need fewer dollars coming into Bitcoin to increase the market cap of Bitcoin. And with the halving, the, the scarcity will just skyrocket. And, uh, it's the perfect setup. The multiplier setup. effect will also skyrocket. Yeah. I'll say. It's the okay. perfect setup. Yeah. For you, what, what will be the, the main uh, indicator for this new cycle to just know where we are in the, in the bull run, in the, like the over-excitement of people? Like, are, are you planning someone like you to, to sell some of your Bitcoin during a bull run? Do you think we will have a bear market? Do you think no. all this setup will continue to... No. No? <laughs> you I think, think dead one time? <laughs> I, I don't believe in cycle. Okay. I believe it's all a coincidence. So what we have right now with this setup, with this doorway to trillions of dollars in capital is that Bitcoin just goes up. And you already see this. There's a massive reduction in volatility. We had a drawdown of maybe 3 or 4% a couple of weeks ago. That should have been a 20% drawdown. But you have this massive demand for Bitcoin from the ETFs. Uh, almost, it's going to be a billion dollars a day shortly. So that just keeps us stable. So that criticism of Bitcoin being volatile is out the window now. And it's this volatile is gonna, on the other way. Now. It's volatile <laughs> the other way. But what, what we'll see is we'll keep going leg up, flat a little bit maybe, and then leg up. But it's going to happen faster and faster as more money comes in because of that multiplier effect that we talked about. So there is no more cycle. It's just number go up. Yeah, but the, the multiplier effect also affect on, on, on the other way, no? Because of the scarcity, like whenever there is a, a short, like the price also fell quickly now. But that price falls quickly when there's not enough demand. But the ETS changed the equation because now you have steady demand okay. and even less supply. Uh, are you involved in uh, the Argentina um, thing? <laughs> like like the, the way they are maybe moving into a Bitcoin store or just thinking about it or... Not really, no, but we're no. working on engaging with President Malay. Okay. Did, and there is no response for now? Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully oh, soon. Secret. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you okay. for your time. Thank you very much. It was a great thing.